Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today, I'm going to be showing some replays. Uh, their profiles all impressive of all the replays. Um, so you're not, like, watching, you know, some noobs or something. Alright, so jumping into the first matchup, we're going against Graveyard Freeze versus Graveyard Freeze. And I'm going to kind of explain, like, how you want to play this. So we're playing really passive right here. He goes Goblin Gang at the bridge, so we're just going to drop a low Valkyrie. That's going to completely counter the Goblin Gang. And then I am I was like trying to predict that he was going to play Princess because I thought maybe this was Log Bait because he, he just used his first two cards were Goblin Gang and then Inferno. And then he drops the Megan Minion, so I like I immediately know it's not going to be a Log Bait. And as soon as he drops a Bowler, I already know his deck, guys. A big part of Graveyard is identifying their deck so that you know when to punish them. Right here, I drop my Inferno to support because I know that he doesn't have any reset in his deck for my Inferno Dragon. And he just dropped a Bowler, so I know I'm going to get value. I was kind of waiting for him to drop his Goblin Gang on my Bowler so that I could just Tornado just like that. And I'm actually going to block this Valkyrie at the bridge so that my Inferno Dragon just kills it. And uh, my Valkyrie will create some type of counter push. And so now I can just Ice Wiz at zero, and he can't support his Graveyard with a Freeze. Or, like, really anything for that matter. And so, yeah, so he couldn't support his his graveyard, so that was a good play by us. Um, so I'm just going to reset with a bowler down low, because, like, he, I, now that we know each other's decks, there's no point not to. Um, yeah, and I think he's going to, yeah, he's going to also go bowler in the back, and like I said, the key in this matchup, Graveyard Freeze versus Graveyard Freeze, the key is always going to be your Inferno Dragon and your Inferno Tower. Right here, he goes with a really bad Inferno Tower um, because now he's being forced to freeze on uh, on offense. Well, I guess on defense. Yeah, he's being forced to freeze his Inferno on defense. My e -Wiz survives because his bowler was in the wrong placement, so we're going to drop a high Ice Wiz. Just because I don't want his stuff to cross the bridge. And this is another big key in when you're facing Graveyard. And this isn't just for Graveyard Freeze, guys. If you're playing any deck in the entire game, you always want to make sure that if you're facing against Graveyard, you always want to um, like block the bridge. And you're going to do so much better. So we freeze his Inferno because um, I kind of figure like, I probably should. Especially with that big of a counter push. I'm going to go Graveyard at 0 Elixir, guys. Because look at his Elixir right now. He has really nothing. And so... Yeah, I get a really good Tornado. And that's game. Just just like that. Because he kind of overcommitted there. And then with that high Inferno, that just was not good. That's not good um, to do that. So, he made a big mistake. I think he we taught him a lesson. Um, now we're going to go against RG. And I'm going to explain, like, the key points in this matchup. I wish that this guy had um, the Mother Witch version, so I could kind of, like, show how I how you want to play that. But basically, versus, if this was the same deck, but with Mother Witch instead of the Firecracker, you play it the exact same way, except you never play Graveyard until the last 10 seconds of the game, and you just focus on defense. Um... That way, like, because they can place the Mother Witch all the way up high next to the King Tower, where you can't fireball it without activating King Tower, and it's a really good play by them, so we just, like, and I already know that, so, um, we're just not gonna let that happen. Right here, a Valkyrie and an uh, Ice Wizard is gonna completely counter an RG with a Tornado. Uh, you just have to get the Valkyrie down as soon as the RG gets placed. You gotta put your Valkyrie down and get your Ice Wiz down as fast as possible. And then at last second, NATO back. And it will always um, counter the RG. Even if they do fireball, like they can't fireball everything, as you saw. Um, so we're going in for a graveyard here. And the reason being, guy, guys, is that he didn't have his RG in cycle. Uh, he didn't have. As soon as I found out that he had Firecracker, like. I know that he doesn't have a good defense for my graveyard. Um, right here, I'm going to Inferno Dragon. I didn't really expect him to fireball just an Inferno Dragon. So, I don't know. I guess that was maybe a good play by him. 
So an Ice Wiz and Tornado back, and unfortunately this RG does get one shot, and but we're still in the lead, so I'm not too worried. Especially after I found out that he has Firecracker instead of Mother Witch. It's not that bad of a matchup now. Um, so I think we're just going to bowler same lane as him because... Yeah, okay, we're going to Valkyrie same lane because if he wants to start cycling logs and stuff, like we're just we just can't let that happen. And so I think he's like understanding that I'm like he can't go same lane, so he starts going opposite lane. I already know he's gonna fireball my um, Ice Wiz, so I drop the E Wiz early. Um, that's like a, a heads up prediction play. And then instead of tornadoing, this time I'm gonna drop a Valkyrie because I have such a big counter push on both sides. And instead of going for the left side graveyard where I have weaker damage, I trick him and go to the right side. And then I'm actually gonna even freeze because. There's, I just don't think he could defend it, and it looks like that ended up working out for me. Um, yeah, so it's really important to like kind of trick your opponent as well, um, especially if you have two counter pushes. Right here, we're just cycling cards of the bridge. Um, if he decides going for RG, 10 seconds left. This is not going to be enough no matter what he does, because all I can have to do is tornado and freeze at four seconds left, and it's not going to get a hit no matter what. Um, Alright, so we'll jump into the last matchup. <clears throat> yeah, we give him the... He didn't play that very well. Um, so yeah, that's why we kind of... We didn't BM him. We just were giving him like the, oh my gosh, you just messed up big uh, emote. Um, yeah, because he did mess up big, guys. Uh, that was really bad. So now we're facing Balloon Freeze with Recruits. This is an interesting deck for sure. Um, it's funny because this guy actually had the best profile out of these three players. And so he goes Balloon first play. And I was going to drop um, Electro Wizard or something else. But I was scared that maybe he had like Lava Loon. And so I didn't want to waste all my like counters to Lava Loon. And then he goes Royal Recruits in the back. So we're just going to cycle an Inferno Dragon first because... I kind of want to save my Valkyrie and the Boar because um, I want to see what he does next. And so as soon as he drops the um, Musketeer, we're going to drop our Boar and we'll just drop a Valkyrie on the left side. Um, that's going to completely clean up everything. We're not going to have like too big of a counter push, but um, we completely defend everything and he's going to have to spend Elixir on the left side. Um, so we can just Ice Quiz for Skeleton Dragons right here on the inside, and that's going to completely counter them. And um, if you didn't already know, you can completely stun lock a, uh, a Fisherman by just dropping an Ewiz on there. So that's exactly what we do. Um, maybe I should have played, like in retrospect, thinking about it, I should have played the Ewiz like a couple tiles away. Because then it would have like just stun locked it and uh, stayed at full health. So maybe a misplay on my part. Um, I knew he was going to drop something at the bridge, but, and I was going to just, like, drop my bowler at the bridge so that the Inferno killed, um, whatever he dropped, but then I, like, realized it just, like, wouldn't be a good play. So he's going to go Musketeer, and I'm going to go in for a Graveyard because I know he's going to drop his Royal Recruits at the bridge, and so I'm just going to, um, Tornado here and try and get one bowler shot. The bowler shot ends up taking out the Musketeer, and now I can... Ice Wizard one tile to the opposite lane so that I can snipe the Royal Recruits on the left side so it doesn't get much damage. And then also, um, like, get the, the right side. So, almost a nearly perfect defense right there. And so, right here he's going in. He's going to go in for a balloon for sure. I should have blocked the bridge, but I actually, uh, I decided that because my cycle was bad, I'm just going to tornado this balloon to my King Tower. Um, just like that, and so I'm going to go in for a Graveyard again, because really nothing you can do about it, and I'm going to actually freeze. Uh, I was trying to get like get my Inferno to lock onto the Musketeer, it doesn't happen, and so at this point, um, he just gave us a ton of Bowler value on the right side, so all we have to do is Bowler, that's going to completely clean up everything. We blocked the bridge on the left side, because I didn't expect him so he like kind of double predicted me. I didn't expect him to go Skeleton Dragons. And I knew that right here he was going to use whatever spell he had. Because he hasn't yet uh, used his freeze yet in the game. So I knew it was coming. So there's my freeze. 
Um, if somebody freezes, it's usually safer just to freeze on uh, on defense as well. Because, like, why not, you know? So we're going to reset this time with a Valkyrie down low. And I think we'll go Boar on the left side this time because that's the lane he's trying to push. Yeah. Um, and so now he's probably going to go Musky. Yeah, so he goes Musky on the right side um, because I dropped my Boar on the opposite side. And I'm going to drop my Ewis like this to reset those two um, dragons. Because I kind of place my boar in the spot where it's going to get splashed. And right here I'm going to freeze because my Inferno is alive. And um, I'm just going to like see if... Yeah, it's going to fully counter it. So I don't need to do anything else to the balloon. And I'm going to go in for a graveyard again. Uh, and I this time I actually trick him and tornado his musky in. Which is going to completely like kill his musketeer. And that's all I wanted. So now he has a choice whether he goes opposite lane or same lane. And this looks like a big push, right? So we're just going to freeze. I knew he was going to do the same thing. So at last second, drop the Valkyrie. We're in a tornado once again. And then just e -whiz. And look at his push. It's gone. His entire push is gone. So now he goes in. He goes all in on the left side. And I freeze at last second. And basically that's GG. So there's no way he's going to be able to defend that. Especially after he just spent 9 elixir at the bridge. Um, Lava Hound, that's just an impossible matchup for the version of Fireball. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something in this video. Tell me like matchups that you want to see me win, I guess. And maybe I can um, give specifics on certain matchups. I'm not too sure where you guys are at with Graveyard. Whether you're just learning it or whether, you know, you're a veteran pro, <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments section below. Drop a like and have a great day. Peace!